Hello there friends and welcome back to my channel. It's Amy McGrew here and today I am going to scrapbook this one single photo. Have you ever been to an event or have a specific something that you would like to document and you only have one photo or perhaps you have no photos? That doesn't mean you can't document it. This is actually a photo of my niece, Anna, when she won the Boston marathon back in May. Yes, you heard me correctly. My niece Anna is um, 23 years old and um, she ran for Boston College and now she works in Boston and she ran the Boston Marathon and won. And I only have this one single photo of her but I was a runner back in the day in high school I ran and um, running has a soft spot in my heart. So I am just thrilled for her and so proud of all her accomplishments. And I thought that I would document this photo on a 12 by 12 scrapbook page and then gift it to her, frame it and gift it to her. So what I did is I'm drawing my inspiration from this sketch here which is uh, Allison Davies sketch. And I loved the triangles and I love the stars because I think my niece is a star. Now this uh, sketch has two photos here, but I only have the one photo. So I'm gonna make the second photo well into a journaling spot. So the other um, things that I want to possibly use in my on my project is this stamp set right here. It's called See You at the Finish Line. I cannot even tell you how long I've had this stamp set and have yet to use it. It's a um, triathlon, a half marathon, and a full marathon, a 10K, a 5K, and I have done all of these except for the marathon, and so I bought it when it came out, and I have yet to use it. And let me preface again that um, Anna won the half marathon, the Boston half marathon. Um, so I think I'm going to want to possibly use this. I also brought in this stamp set, Bigger, Faster, Stronger, and this one has some images and some sentiments that that I thought might work well with the theme that I am going for. This one actually has thin cuts to go with it. So all the images you see highlighted in the blue green color have um, thin cuts to go with it. And then I also pulled in the Hello Darling card making workshop kit because of this star. This one has several thin cuts and I like the size of that star. So the other product that I brought in, and we'll see if we use any or all of these, and these are all currently still available. I will link in the description box all the product that is still available. This thin cut right here is called the Square Patterns. This is in our core idea book, and I thought this would be good for all of my triangles because these two thin cuts right here, I could run them through my die cut machine and get that many triangles all at one time. And then I'm bringing in my tried and true Moxie Alphabet. I love this set because it's got the thin cuts and then it's got the stamps to go with it. And on this sketch, it says um, the title and a long title. So I thought maybe I could use this set for my title. So I'm gonna clear all this away and we will get started. All right, so I did do all of my thin cutting of all of my triangles and the paper that I chose to use is the brand new Mixins collection that is in the July, August idea book. So if you've been following me, you perhaps saw my uh, catalog walkthrough on Sunday of the brand new July, August idea book. But every idea book, we get a Mixins collection. And this collection is meant to coordinate with the other two connect collections in the idea book, which would be the Cape Cod and the Cozy Up. But then it can also stand alone as a whole separate 
paper pack. And that is what I am using today as a standalone. We'll just be using these patterns. Um, you can see the fun zip strips, and then we flip them over and we've got those patterns. So what I did is I cut a variety of the all the papers using that triangle thin cut the square triangle thin cut and what i think i'm going to do is work on an eight by eight piece of white daisy card stock and we're going to work on this and add our triangle pieces to this and then mount it to our sapphire card stock and then i'm thinking perhaps I'll use 3D foam tape and adhere this to a white daisy 12 by 12 piece of white daisy cardstock. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to add a few of these triangles to my 8 by 8 piece of paper and then I'll do the rest off camera. I don't want you to have to sit and watch me adhere all of these. Now, yes, this is gonna be a little bit time consuming, but I think the end result will be really worth it. And having that thin cut, those square thin cuts, is making this much quicker because I was able to cut all of these triangles in not very much time at all. So you can see I am just lining these up and I'm kind of really just eyeballing. Um, I find when I try to uh, measure things, I don't necessarily they seem like they come out more crooked than if I just eyeball. So I am just going across and I'm going to fill in this entire square and then I will be back. But there is the start of my page. All right, so here we've got all of our triangles on our white daisy base. And now I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this to my sapphire base. And I'm using the dark side of the cardstock. So we'll adhere this. We have a nice little border. And then I did go ahead and cut some mats for the photo. So we're gonna double mat it with sapphire and honey butter. I liked those colors are part of the Mixins collection and I thought they went well with the colors in the photo of Anna crossing the finish line. And then I went ahead and cut some more for our journaling box. So I'll adhere my glacier to my sapphire and then this is going to be my journaling square. I'm gonna to wait to adhere this in case I use a stamp with journaling lines. Now the next thing that I did is I cut out the letters to spell CHAMP and I used the Moxie alphabet and we'll go ahead and I'll stamp one of the letters with you here and then I'll do the rest off camera so you don't have to watch me do this. Now remember when you're using stamps, if it's a brand new stamp set, you want to season your stamp. I like to just rub it on my, my skin. Another thing you could do is take the rub and remove eraser and just rub it on there. You just want to get that protective film off of the um, the stamp. Um, it's kind of like a protective film and you'll find that the more you use your stamp, the clearer the image gets. In fact, what I think I might do is grab a piece of scrap and I'm gonna ink up my C. I'm gonna stamp it on my scrap. That looks good. And then I am using that little foam sheet that comes in all of the stamp sets that you get from Close to My Heart. And then I will 
stamp my letter. I'm just gonna let it sit for a minute so that the ink can absorb into the paper. And there we have our C. Now I think I am in the minority. I like to cut out my thin cuts and then um, stamp onto my thin cuts. I think most people do it the opposite way. Um, there are some times when I choose to do it the opposite way where I'll stamp first and then thin cut, but for the most part, I am always thin cutting and then stamping. You do whatever works best for you. So I'll go ahead and do the A and then I will do the rest of these off camera and come back. So again, I'm just letting the ink absorb into the paper and there's our A. All right, I'll finish this and I will be right back. All right, I've got my letters stamped and I have um, stamped my journaling spot. And then I did pull in this stamp set, Bigger, Faster, Stronger, and I had cut, did, did some thin cutting, and I've got the hand, the, the hand with the number one, and so what I'm thinking is, here is the thin cut, and maybe we'll put this right here like that. I wasn't sure what color to stamp it in, but I think I'm going to stick with the sapphire so let's go ahead and put this on a block and um, we'll get this stamped and we will use the sapphire again the the stamp that i use to do my journaling um spot was an image from the stamp set we received in the album retreat back in May. I love the album retreat um, and I love that we get the exclusive stamp sets with album retreat. All right, so there's my number one. Clean my stamp and we'll put it back on our carrier sheet so we don't lose it. And we'll go ahead and adhere this. I'll do my journaling off camera. And then we can stick this right there like that. I like that. And then we can dry fit. So this is gonna go right here in the center. And then I thought we'd do this like this. And I think I'll adhere the photo with 3D foam tape. And then I know the there's a lot of white space so I was looking at this stamp set, the uh, See You at the Finish Line, and I like the sentiment, See You at the Finish Line, and I also like the run, and I like the star. So I was thinking maybe, what if we did this? And we went, See You at the Finish Line, and then I could do the star, and then see you at the finish line again. So that could be up at the top and I could possibly do it around each of the corners. I think I like that. So let's go ahead and adhere this. I'm not gonna put it on 3D foam tape like I originally anticipated. We're gonna center this. Right like that. And then, this is gonna be nerve wracking, but I am gonna go for it. Let's see if this is too long. Okay, so I'm gonna get the other block. And 
tip when you have the skinny uh, sentiments or images, put it face up and then it will stick to your block like that. Now this is a new stamp set, so I am going to season it. I'm gonna flip my Versamat over so we've got the foam. I'm gonna bring in my scrap paper for a second. And you know what? I'm wondering, maybe we're gonna do this in Glacier. I might wanna do this in Glacier. I'm gonna clean this. And we'll dry it. All right, so I'm really liking this. You can see I stamped see you at the finish line all around the perimeter. And then I'm just gonna go back in with my star image and we'll stamp in between the two sentiments. And I am really liking this. I'm so excited to finally be using this stamp set. So I'm liking that. And I used the glacier and that worked out well. And then our journaling spot's going to go like that. And then we'll have our photo there. Maybe I'll even, and then we'll have our title C H A M P. And you know, I'm thinking. No, yeah, I like that. I think I'll do the um, the letters on 3D foam tape so that they will stick up more to give it more dimension and then that will make them pop. And um, then I did do a bunch of thin cutting of the stars and I thought I could put the stars randomly kind of just play with these and randomly put them in different triangles kind of like the image um, I don't want to overpower it but I think the stars really add a, a little bit to it. So you can see that even though you have only one photo of an event, um, you could still totally, and you should totally document it. So I think that would be I don't know, maybe we'll do one there and then maybe we'll put this here like that. Yeah, I am liking that. So I'll finish adhering everything and I'll get my journaling done. And I think this page will be done. And because it's so busy with the different patterns of paper, leaving it just like this is gonna be perfect. All right, here is the completed page. I just have to do the journaling. I did adhere the photo and I used 3D foam tape and then hopefully you can see that dimension. And then for my letters, I went ahead and cut multiple of each letter out and then just adhered them one on top of each other so that the letters have some dimension as well. And there is our finished page, perfect for framing. I'm excited to ship this off to my niece. Um, this was quite an accomplishment for her and I am really excited that I documented it and that she'll, she'll have this um, as a memory uh, and someday can show her kids. So if you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up. If you don't already subscribe, if you could hit that subscribe button, like and share it, leave me a comment. Would love to know if you are a runner or how you feel about running, if you've ever ran in a half marathon before. Um, and just supporting my channel helps 
the YouTube know that you would like to see more of these types of videos. And I appreciate your support. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.